Hello, if you are into fairy tales movies, so this movie is for you. The movie begins with Pip narrating the story of Giselle to his chipmunk sons. Giselle was a baby with no parents. She was raised by woodland creatures in Andalasia as a child, and later had a thrilling adventure in New York City where she met Robert and his daughter Morgan. Giselle and Robert got married and having a daughter named Sophia. However, their new life in the town isn't as perfect as they had hoped. Giselle and Robert struggle to adjust to life in the big city, and their daughter Morgan has become a snarky teenager. To make a fresh start, Giselle convinces the family to move to Monroeville in search for a new better life. Morgan wasn't comfort to leave New York City. They reached their new home that was in need for little work to be in a good situation. They fix up Morgan's room. Morgan really admires her new room, but it catches fire due to a faulty light switch. Later, they have a visit by Malvina Monroe, the haughty head of the town council, along with her two followers Rosaline and Ruby. They mention a fairy tale ball that Malvina hosts. Giselle was a big fan for this kind of events. In the ball, they know about Tyson, Malvina's son who is usually crown prince. The following day, the Phillips world is turned upside down by a visit from Andalasia's new king and queen, Edward and Nancy. They gift the family with an Andalasian wishing wand that only a true daughter of Andalasia can use. And they told her if she has any question, she can ask and the rolling paper accompanied with the wand will answer it. While Morgan heads off to school, Giselle confides in Edward and Nancy about her dissatisfaction with her new life. They offer words of encouragement, but it's clear that Giselle is searching for something more. Meanwhile, Robert's daily move to his work is getting him down. Morgan is struggling to fit in at her new school. When Giselle finds Monroe Feast Flyer, Malvina's upcoming event, she sees an opportunity to make a promotion for Morgan. She sets up a cupcake stand and asks to vote for Morgan as a princess of the Winter Ball. But Malvina prevent her telling that it is not allowed for her to set a table in the school land as she is not a member of the commission. Morgan becomes angry of Giselle acts. Feeling of humiliation. Back at home, Giselle tries to cheer Morgan up with a memory tree, but tensions rise when Robert tries to help, and Morgan lashes out. She called Giselle as her stepmother and this really hurts Giselle's feelings. Giselle sings about her dream life and is visited by Pip through the portal. With the help of the wishing wand, Giselle makes a wish, and the next morning, everything changes. The house is immaculate, and even the animals are singing. Robert becomes a more dashing hero. And the town is transformed into the whimsical Monralasia. But with great power comes great responsibility, and Giselle soon discovers that Malvina has become the evil queen of the town. Giselle feels more arrogance and ambitious so she decides to take Malvina place and become the new queen. In the hopes of impressing Tyson, the actual prince of the town, Giselle gets Morgan a new dress. But as the clock strikes, a darker side of Giselle begins to emerge. She buys up all the dresses and slashes the one Morgan had picked out. Giselle becomes increasingly vain and cruel, and she realizes something is wrong. She turns to Pip for help and heads to Morgan's dusty old attic room. Giselle fears the wish has turned her into a wicked stepmother, and Pip even transforms into a fat cat, as evil stepmothers often have. Meanwhile, Robert tries to be a hero by facing off against a dragon, but he fails miserably and ends up embarrassed. People joked upon him asking him to find another job. Giselle and Pip consult the magic rolling, which tells them they have until midnight to undo the wish before it becomes permanent. But there's a catch, the wish is using up all the magic from Andalasia, which will be drained completely if they can't undo it in time. As Morgan explores the town, she runs into Tyson, and the two hit it off. But Giselle acts as a cruel stepmother, she forbids Morgan from leaving the house or seeing Tyson. The clock is ticking, and Giselle must find a way to undo the wish before it's too late. Malvina sends Rosaline and Ruby to steal Giselle's wand. But she can't use its magic as she is not a daughter of Andalasia. 
Robert saves a little girl during a giant's rampage, earning gratitude from her parents. As Morgan realizes that something is amiss with Giselle, her demeanor begins to shift between her usual self and a more sinister persona. Sensing trouble, Giselle urges Morgan to take action and shoves her into the hole that leads to Andalasia, where she seeks the aid of Edward and Nancy. Meanwhile, Giselle embraces her wicked side and challenges Malvina for the position of queen. Morgan awakens in Andalasia, the movie converted into cartoon scenes. Morgan discovers that the kingdom's magic is rapidly diminishing and its inhabitants, including a giant troll friend, are growing weaker by the minute. With the help of Edward and Nancy, they uncover Giselle's memory tree, which holds the key to restoring the magic but is dying from a wish. However, Morgan's childhood memories come to the rescue and replenish the tree with a newfound love power. She then returns to the real world with Nancy, while Edward stays behind to safeguard the kingdom. It is the night of the winter ball, Giselle and Malvina, both of them take their carriage to the ball. Giselle sends Pip to steal the wishing magic wand from Rosaline and Ruby. He returned to Giselle with the magic wand. Giselle and Malvina are face to face and start to use their magic powers, causing Andalasia to break through into the real world. Morgan joins the effort to help Giselle, who overpowers Malvina. Giselle takes the memory tree and calls it a garbage, then she destroys it. The magic from the tree surrounds Giselle and reminds her of her true self, and she prepares to undo the wish. However, Malvina traps Morgan and demands the wand, leading to a race against time to stop the wish from becoming permanent before Malvina can stop Robert and Tyson. Morgan as Giselle's stepdaughter, she uses the wand and make a wish to return back home with her mother to their normal life. After waking up from the wish, Giselle and Morgan talking about what had happened, telling that no one will remember what happened except for them. Giselle want to fix her relation with Malvina, they become good friends and the family throws a party, which is attended by Edward and Nancy. Giselle spends the day with Robert, content with her true happily ever after. Pip ended the story for his sons who fell asleep. Hope you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel for upcoming movies.